Good morning, students. Continue with the computer networks. Yesterday we discussed about evolution of networking, introduction of computer networks, then uh, evolution of networking like ARPANET, NSFNet, and Internet. We discussed these terms and uh, uh, their importance. Then data communication technologies. We discuss about the concept of communication, what is communication, component of data communication, sender, receiver, message, communication media, and protocol. Then main uh, capacity of uh, communication media like uh, bandwidth and data rate, data transfer rate, we have discussed. Now we are going to discuss switching techniques, okay? Okay, so it's a, uh, the switching techniques means the method for sending the data from one side to another side, okay? So uh, when we uh, connect two computers, we are sending data, uh, uh, transferring the data from one computer to another computer. There are two types of techniques. One is called circuit switching, Another is called packet switching. But circuit switching is just like uh, you are uh, in the beginning, the, uh, the telephone system. So when we dial the phone, then there is a connection established between two, uh, two different uh, telephones. Then we send the data. So one line is totally dedicated to that particular uh, call. So this type of uh, switching technology was called circuit switching okay in circuit switching before a communication start a dedicated path is identified between sender and receiver this path is connected to sequence of links between network nodes all the packets follow the same path sari ke sari aapki communication ek hi line mein se ek hi path mein se execute hoti hai in the early days, when we received a telephone call, the switching equipment within the telephone system finds out the physical path or channel of all the way from our telephone at home to the receiver telephones. This is an example of a circuit switching. So circuit switching means uh, set a physical uh, connection between two devices. Okay. So First connection is established, then data is moved. There is only single dedicated line from where data can be moved. This type of data movement is called circuit switching. For example, we uh, in two computers we set the uh, we connected uh, two computers with a wire. It means these that wire is dedicated for tra uh, transferring the data between two computers. That type of uh, uh, technology is called circuit switching. Is it clear, Veda? Yes, sir. But present time is totally different. Present time, uh, when we use internet, we use packet switching. Packet switching means our message is divided into small, small packets. Okay. And uh, in this, pa uh, these packets contain the uh, uh, sender IP address, the receiver IP address, serial number, and the message itself. And these small pieces of packet uh, are called packets. And these packets grow from one receiver to send sender side, taking different paths. Okay. So we are not about uh, from where the particular pa uh, packet will be go to the receiver side. And at the receiver side, the same packets are uh, received by a receiver and then reassembled these packets. In sender side, it is deassembled. And in receiver side, it is uh, reassembled. Clear? So this type of uh, switching technology is called packet switching. And present time internet is uh, 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 based on packet switching. So in packet switching, each information or message is to be transmitted 
between sender and receiver is broken down into small pieces called a packet. And these packets are transmitted in independently through the network. Different packets of the same message may take different routes depending on the availability. Each packet has two parts. One is header contain the address of destination, other information, and the main message part. When all the packets reach the destination, they are reassembled, and then complete message is received by the receiver. Unlike circuit switching, the channel is occupied in the packet switching only during the transmission of packet. On the means there is no any dedicated line is there, dedicated channel is there. It is established when we are sending the data and it takes the different uh, routes, different channels for sending the data. On the completion of transmission, the channel is available for transfer of packets from other communication parties. So, we have a dedicated line near the so, data a uh, route se move karte, a lag -lag channel. Se move so, it is clear. Okay. Uh, in uh, lower classes, uh, uh, there was once uh, protocol in your syllabus that is called TCPIP. TCPIP stands for Transmission Control Protocol, Internet Protocol. So, uh, in the receiver side, TCP, uh, we uh, assemble a message into uh, different parts. IP of sender send these messages to uh, these mess these packets to the receiver side from different uh, routes you can say and in the uh, receiver side these packets are received by IP and then TCP reassemble them so this is the same packet switching so two type of uh, switching we have discussed here. One is called packet switching, another is called a circuit switching. So, a circuit uh, uh, switching is an old technology where, where physical connection is in between two computer, two devices, two uh, communication devices. But in the case of packet switching, such type of uh, dedicated environment is not required, but uh, the uh, that is divided into packets and these packets flow from one side to another side from different uh, rules. Next is transmission media. Okay. Now we are going to discuss different type of transmission media. So we know that there are two types of uh, transmission media, wired and uh, wireless. Wired media is also called guided media and wireless media is also called unguided media. So, guiding the media means there is a physical connection between two and more computer. But in the case of the unguided media, there is no any physical connection. There are wireless signals only. Okay. So, now we are going to discuss these. Transmission media. Okay, where transmission media can be anything that can carry the signals, that can carry the message from one side to another side, from the source computer to destination computer. So it is a just a uh, medium to carry the data, carry the signals, carry the message from one side to another side. Now, in the case of your communication media, it is wired and there is wireless. So in a Wireless, we use uh, electromagnetic waves. In wide media, there are three types of cables we are using. Twisted pair, coaxial cable, fiber optic cable. Okay, three types of cable. In paper, uh, in a uh, sample paper also, there is some questions regarding the wired media. So, you know in the wired media, we have twisted pair cable, coaxial cable, fiber optic table these are in your slavers and these are the only wires which are used for communication so uh, first we will discuss in the case of wired media there is a twisted pair cable so very famous 
टेबल आपने देखा होगा कि जो आपके पास इंटरनेट के लिए जो आपके पास मॉडर्न है उस मॉडर्न में से एक ग्रे कलर की वायर आपके कंप्यूटर के साथ या फिर आपके पास लैपटॉप के साथ अटैच होती है दिस इज कॉल्ड आर जे फोर्टी फाइव आर जे स्टैंड फॉर रजिस्टर्ड चेक एंड फोर्टी फाइव इज साइज ओके प्लास्टिक लिप इन साइज द प्लास्टिक लिप देर आर फोर डिफरेंट पेयर्स ओके पेयर मीन्स टू कॉपर वायर्स ट्विस्टेड विद ईच अदर so these are twisted pair consist of copper wire twisted like a uh, dna jaise dna ka aapke paas uh, shape hoti hai just like a dna structure both of the copper wires are ins insulated plastic cover to so, ye aapke paas jo uh, wires hain iske upar plastic laga hota hai plastic cover hota hai aur alag alag colors ki hoti hai number of such pairs are combined together and covered with a protecting outer wrapping to so, bahar ki taraf ek plastic ka strong cover is there gray color cover hota hai to so, ise aap kehte hain it is stiff pair cable but uh, here uh, they uh, each of twisted pair act as a single pulley to so, aapke paas ek twisted pair ek communication link ke liye use hota hai for example if you are using a internet in two computers Use Wi-Fi or one twisted pair for one computer. And the use of twisted pair minimizes the effect of uh, effect of electro uh, electrical interference from similar pair of uh, close by. So, this will happen that you have. So, with that, if there is another connection, it is not plastic cover. It does not interfere with each other. Twisted pair are less expensive and most common used in telephone lines. The because in your modern we use the telephone lines and from modern to computer we use internet. So here these are uh, these are used in telephone lines and LAN local area network. These cables are of two types: unshielded, shielded, and shielded. It ah, uh, see here. Ah, in in the case of your Shielded. There is a plastic cover there, and inside the plastic cover there is a metal shield. Okay, in order to make the your uh, wire more strong. Clear. So in the case of uh, UTP, unshielded cut. Uh, uh, principal form is unshielded twisted pair, and uh, STPP. Uh, STPP stands for shielded twisted pair. The Only difference is that inside the STP there is a metal shield, and in the case of a UTP there is no such thing. Any doubt in this matter? Yes, Ishneet. No, sir. Okay. Sir. Now after a twisted, what's one benefit of uh, your twisted pair? economical and easy to handle okay but drawbacks are there it is not used for long distance clear second one uh the outer interference possibility is there theek hai kahin pe uski kyunki life is very less to be this strong nahi hoti kahin se break kar gayi to outer interference ho sakti hai aur Data transmission rate is less. There, yeah, these are the three drawbacks. In your exam, there may be the questions like the uh, drawbacks of a twisted pair. So the three drawbacks: outer noise. Second one, uh, there it is not used for long distance. Third one is le uh, less data transmission rate. And advantages are economical. And second one is. Easy to handle. Then next one is coaxial cable. This type of cable is uh, uh, example is your digital TV cable. Okay, 
that j uh, the uh, table uh, that uh, uh, table is called twisted uh, coaxial cable so it is its life is more than the twisted pair because it is a uh, uh, its protection there are uh, uh, very strong covers inside that there will be coaxial cable okay so uh, inside the beta in the twisted pair the wire is of copper yeah wire copper ki wire hoti hai okay so that's why uh to pass with uh is type to jab aap internet use karte ho to copper based internet jo bhi uh, telephone line mein copper hai to copper based internet but present time we are use optical fiber so that's why its speed is more so coaxial cable is another type of data transmission medium it is it is better shielded and has more bandwidth than twisted pair so its its cover is strong second one is more bandwidth more bandwidth means more data transmission rate so here there is a copper wire and above that there is a insulating material plastic material sometimes white color material is here then there is a uh, Braided outer conductor, just like a metal hota hai, just like you can jali bhi kaise kiya, metal bhi kaise kiya, or uske upper protective plastic cover. So these make your wire more strong. Clear? Yeah? So uh, the insulator is further. Uh, there is a copper wire. Then there is a insulated plastic. Uh, you can say it is a just like a strong plastic PVC is here. then insulator is further surrounded by outer conductor okay outer conductor with a of a metal okay and the outer conductor is wrapped is uh, in a plastic cover the key of success of the coaxial cable is shielded design that allow the cable copper core to transmit data quickly without the interference of environmental factors because wire is strong that's why environmental factors like rain sunlight Having a very less interfere, clear? Okay, students. Any doubt in this? Are there? Yes, sir. Is there any doubt in this? No, sir. So, example, आपके पास है digital TV wire, ठीक है? This is example. No optical fiber. So one of the best cable that I use for transmitting the data. The data is travel in the shape of light. Okay, so in the optical fiber cable contain data as light, which travel inside the thin fiber of glass. So wire के अंदर glass लगा होता है, reflecting glass, और उसके अंदर data travel करता है on the basis of reflections. Okay, optical fiber use refraction to direct the light through the medium a thin transparent front of glass at the center is covered with the layer of a less dense glass called cladding so after when the glass laga hota that is called a cladding okay so ye hamare paas glass hai aur glass ki reflection se aapke paas data move karta hai from one side uske upar cladding hai aapke paas plastic cover aapke paas hai theek hai so this type of work Uh, the signal can travel longer distance from one city to another city, one country to another country. We can transfer the data. Clear? So this is a very good. Uh, that uh, the advantages are high rate data transmission rate. Second one is it can be used for long distance, but drawback it is very expensive. Second one, it is very difficult to assemble them. They need technical knowledge. Otherwise, it is not uh, feasible for the normal person to make uh, to attach two optical fiber cables. Clear? So it needs high knowledge of a uh, technical knowledge. You can say. Is there any doubt in this? No, sir. So these are three type of uh, cables. Then there is a wireless media. Wireless transmission media. We know that uh, 
in our uh, environment there are different uh, frequencies are there different layers of uh, uh, layers are available so these frequencies are used for uh, trans transmission of data wi-fi data okay so wireless communication one minute better so wireless communication uh, need electromagnetic spectrum of frequency ranging 3 uh, kilohertz to 900 terahertz is available Okay, in between you move karta hai, to usme aapke paas, there is a short distance and there is a long distance uh, wireless medium. Wireless media. So if you take the example of Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, okay, or uh, infrared, these are the examples of uh, short distance. But when we discuss about the microwave, the radio wave, uh, these, these are the example of a long range. Okay. So uh, here the one uh, image that show the uh, kilohertz to terahertz how much uh, frequency take by the uh, these different type of uh, medium so here we have radio waves microwaves infrared waves and light waves so when we discuss karte hai, radio waves ke mein beta. so radio wave ke frequency 3 kilohertz leke 1 gigahertz tak hoti hai. So it is a omnidirectional. So it means it the signals can be moved in any direction. Clear? It is not a unidirectional or bidirectional. It is a direction mein move kar sakte hai. Second one. Agar koi bhi interference aara hai, wall aa gai, hai, koi mountain aa gaya, to ye usko bhi cross kare. Clear? Or radio wave ki jo frequency hai, that is 300 kilohertz in the 313 uh, megahertz of okay. it uh, can lo uh, travel long distance if not that long distance travel this okay. so you basically am or fm or television or cordless phones can be used of okay. so this is a source of benefit hai to uh, the interference any type of uh, uh, constraint it can easily cross for example mountain away because but there are second type of uh, transmission media that is called microwaves and its frequency is from 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz and it is a unidirectional just, just like a uh, Doodashan antennas in Jalandhar there is a Doodashan antenna in New Delhi so there is a unidirectional shape that is in one direction so there is a data so there is a data आप वापस डाटा नहीं भेज रहे और मोर ओवर इतनी लाइन ऑफ साइट मींस सेम लाइन ऑफ साइट में आपके पास दोनों एंटीनास होने चाहिए अगर दोनों एंटीना सेम साइट के ऊपर नहीं है लाइट लाइट लाइन ऑफ साइट के ऊपर तो वो कम्युनिकेशन नहीं होगी मोर ओवर इट कांट क्रॉस द सॉलिड ऑब्जेक्ट्स लाइक वॉल हिल्स माउंटेन्स दिस इज द ड्रॉबैक ऑफ माइक्रोवेव सो इट प्रोवाइड वेरी लार्ज इंफॉर्मेशन कैरिंग capacity so, no doubt it can uh, transfer the data large data but these are the some drawbacks of the microwave get it clear better yes sir so if you want to know that you want to move the only direction then you will take a radio waves and you need ki agar hamare paas koi bhi pichhe constraints hai usko bhi cross kar diye to radio waves are better better way but when we uh, you are use microwave so it is a unidirectional ek hi direction mein hoti hai aur aapke paas antennas line of sight mein hone chahiye to agar wo same line of sight mein nahi hai so it will not transfer the data so uh, i am checking in your slippers so much in your syllabus the radio wave microwave and infrared waves so in the case of uh, your infrared waves basically using remote phones mouse keyboard 
remote controls we are using infrared waves and uh, the uh, infrared ray, uh, waves are not for a very very long distance okay so here we use electromagnetic waves of frequency ranging 300 gigahertz to 400 terahertz very high frequency waves can't uh, uh, beta, uh, it can't cross the object okay use for short distance point to point communication it is not for multiple points for example in the case of radio wave data is broadcasted but in the case of your uh, infrared that is not broadcasted it is uh, one point to point communication we use so it is communication between mobile to mobile mobile to printer remote control to tv bluetooth enabled devices or other device like a mouse keyboard so this is all about your infrared After that, we will discuss some networking mod devices like uh, modem, Ethernet card, RJ45, repeater, hub, router, gateway, Wi Fi card. Okay. So here is Uh, students, uh, here is some discussion about uh, uh, your wireless techno techniques, uh, technologies like uh, Bluetooth, uh, wireless LAN, okay? But these are not uh, in slavers. This slavers mean here, okay? After completing the slavers, we will discuss the rest of the, uh, the uh, terms which are not in slavers in order to cover the risk, okay? So we will discuss the So, in a computer network, we have discussed here. computer network, we have discussed uh, it is an interconnection of different computers. It is called a network. So, in a uh, uh, normal life, there are various social networks, there are mobile networks, there are network of computers, there are airlines, railway networks, there are banks network. But in computer, we connect different devices and these devices are called nodes. We call it a uh, computer network. Or I mean, we discussed here that key different uh, 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 evolution of a network was 1961 to 1969. It was the time for ARPANET. Okay. Then 1971 emails was uh, invented uh, then 1974 so these are the uh, basic three things are there arpanet here then nsfnet in 1980s and then in 1990s internet so these are the three main dates so aapke paas yo idea aya tha arpanet ka wo 1961 mein aya tha okay और 1969 में ARPANET बन गया और उसके बाद uh, in 1971 network messages और emails जो at the rate symbol start हो गया यूज होना 1971 में internet terms atom uh, uh, usually शुरू हुई but there was no any internet uh, you can say uh, established in 1971, 1982, TCP-IP introduced ARPANET. In 1983, the main name system introduced In 1986, NSFNET In 1990s, uh, Tim Banner Lee ne internet, WWW, World Wide Web 
डेल्फ किया है और 1997 में वाईफाई इंट्रोड्यूस किया है तो दिस इज द टाइम लाइन्स अब हमारे पास है एक इन यू एस लेबर्स कि इन नेटवर्क डिफरेंट टपोलॉजीज एंड नेटवर्क टाइप वो भी हमने डिस्कस करनी है तो नेटवर्क डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ नेटवर्क इन दिस अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस डिस्टेंस देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ नेटवर्क वन इज पैन लैंड मैन वैन तो पैन स्टैंड फॉर पर्सनल एरिया नेटवर्क लैन स्टैंड फॉर लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क मैन स्टैंड फॉर मेट्रो मेट्रोपोलिटन एरिया नेटवर्क एंड वैन स्टैंड फॉर वाइड एरिया नेटवर्क पैन then it is just example of your personal area network is connecting your mobile phone with your computer system your laptop clear yeah? so it is a your personal gadgets okay personal devices uh, there is a network between these this is called a pan so all of the this is example your mobile phone you can connect your uh, headphone mobile phone printer mouse another laptop or your phone okay so this type of network is called a pan and uh, there is a proximity a approximate range of a uh, this type of uh, network is 10 meter clear yeah? so a person area uh, for we use basically usb uh, for uh, format एज ए वायर्ड पैन ठीक है अगर हमने एक को दूसरे के साथ कनेक्ट करना है तो वो यूज यू एस पी पोर्ट तो वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज द ब्लूटूथ एंड देर इज एनदर एग्जांपल इज डब्ल्यू पैन वाईफाई पर्सनल पर्सनल एरिया नेटवर्क बट दिस इज नॉट अ प्रोफेशनल वे बट व्हेन इन अ प्रोफेशनल वे इन एनी इन एनी ऑफिस और इन एनी ब्रांच If we connect different computer, this is the example of a local area networking. So in this different uh, geographical area covered, the land is single room or single floor or sing a one office or more building in same premises. Uh, premises, okay. So it is not for a very long distance. School, the uh, computer labs uh, or any bank branch or any university lab. or university campus all of these are the example of a local area network the connectivity is done by the means of wires so basically we use ethernet cables clear ethernet cable is your twisted pair or even we can use optical fiber or wifi okay students time is over now i am going to close the meeting